What's going on my Borskis? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now we just got news today that the next Pirate Rumble season is going to be featuring V2 Big Mom as the character that you can receive for free for playing the new Rumble season. Now obviously whenever they do this, this signifies that the character that you get for free will be the upcoming Super Evolution for the month coming up and it's interesting for the anniversary month that this was the character that they selected being v2 big bomb so in this video today we're going to discuss what a potential super evolution for this character could be like and this is one of the characters that i would have loved to have seen receive a super evolution i made a video a few months back when dual units were first announced to be receiving um you know uh, super evolutions and the fact that this is finally coming is a really big deal i love the fact that they're giving us all these dual unit super evolutions back to back but also i do have to say that the fact that this is the anniversary month coming up i have a feeling that they're going to probably give us an additional super evolution for a super sugo fest exclusive whether that be final tap law final tap kid um something like that i do feel like another super sugo fest will super evolve just because it's such a big month that they will probably try and fit something else in there but let's go ahead and uh, talk about what this big mom currently does and what we could see moving forward into the future so once again we're on the database to talk about v2 big mom which is actually called Zeus, Prometheus, and Big Mom, and it is a dual unit where one side is uh, a Zeus and Big Mom, and the other one is Prometheus and Big Mom. So this character is interesting in the fact that, you know, one side is Striker, and then when you combine into the dual form, it's a Slasher instead. So one thing that I think that they should change straight off the bat is that make all the classes Striker, Powerhouse, or just whatever you want, you know. Don't make one side a different class because it makes things a little bit annoying when you end up switching to the wrong character or when you combine into your dual unit, your class changes and you no longer synergize with your team. And they've done a pretty good job at that with, with dual units of late. So I think that this will probably be one thing that they will change unless if they overlook it and completely forget about it i can see them doing that too where the classes will not change but i really hope that that's one thing that that gets a little bit of a change another thing is that this character is int on both sides so no matter which character you switch into it's always going to be an int character and that furthermore goes into their captain effect where the solo captain is legit the same no matter which character you switch to it's big mom and one of her homies whether it be zeus or prometheus and it's the same captain effect but of course with the dual captain effect which is uh, mainly what we'll be talking about in this video you needed to have one of every color on the crew which is a huge drawback and we know that there's been characters that have released where you know they've been focusing on having one of every color on the crew and with the introduction of level limit break five that has been able to be removed and changed now i think that what a good thing would be doing is just to completely remove this condition just with the base super evolution i would hate if this is restricted behind the level limit break i can see them doing that too but i really do hope that this is just removed completely it also increases your damage received by 1.7 five times and then also gives you two times hp so if you magnify that out it ends up being like a 1.25 times health boost uh but honestly like increased damage received th these type of effects don't age very well and i assume this will be removed and it's still a four times attack boosting uh, dual captain which back in the day when it first came out was obviously okay but needs to be changed and an additional effect it recovers hp proportional to the number of enemies that you've defeated multiplied by the crew's recovery at the end of the turn so this mechanic helped you get some of your hp back where this character was built around having a lot of hp tanking a lot of damage healing it back every time you kill something it's basically how it worked so i do think that this captain ability needs a pretty big change so on this notepad here i've kind of broken down what the current dual captain is and this is what i would love it to change to now i'm not too sure if this would be like with level limit break and all of that but as a dual captain this would be pretty interesting you know minus one cooldown at the start of the quest i feel like that's a given and most characters receive that these days with their super evolutions boosting the crew's health by two times so completely removing the increased damage taken but still have the two times health boost i think is pretty reasonable and a five times attack boosting captain and then making int recovery and tandem slots beneficial i'm assuming that the character is not going to change color so i'd say making int slots beneficial and then also recovery and tandem because this character is still focused around recovery at the end of the day so if you can make recovery slots matching that would be cool and also make tandem slots matching due to the fact that so many characters releasing with super tandem it would make sense um, tapping on this character with an int slot will further boost the character's attack or the crew's attack and orb boost by plus 0.3. 
This mechanic is very important for Big Mom's super uh, for, for a switch effect, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this mechanic, I think, would be an awesome addition because not only would it synergize really well with her switch effect, but it would be really, really good when you like take it into other different teams and you can just have this really interesting captain that you can buff all of your attack and orb boost when you attack with her with an int slot. And I think that this part of her captain would see some play. And then also keeping the same effect, every time you kill something, you're healing back your crew's recovery, um, just to give you a bit of that HP back. But I think that this is a really good dual captain, as it's it's a rainbow captain, and would have good synergy with some of the other characters that we have in the game right now, especially if she does end up maintaining the striker class. Great synergy with, obviously, versus Kaido, Jack, characters such as that so we're going to have a look at the special next and this is one part of this kit in general that really needs a big change because it's not as good as what it is now but when you have a look at this special boosting base attack of all characters ranging from 1 to 1000 for one turn depending on your current hp so basically you had to be at 100,000 hp in your crew to receive the 1000 base attack boost and it was a scaling factor so if you're at 50,000 hp you only get 500 base attack so this needs to change in my opinion it shouldn't be a scaling factor you should know what you're getting when you launch the special and then also uh, it would combine to the dual unit for three turns and if the hp is 50 percent or above when you launch the special it would lock your chain multiplier by 3.5 times for one turn it does make sense why there's a health condition attached this character has a healing mechanic in their captain but there's also the downside of every time you take damage it's going to be increased damage taken so sometimes this could be difficult to actually get but i do think that being able to lock the chain multiply 3.5 even on release was still pretty good but as we all know chain boundaries are a lot better than chain locks so this definitely needs a change so this is what i had in mind so this is the current special that we have right now for big mom so this is what i have changed it to where it will be just a flat out 1000 base attack boost for one turn which i don't think is that much of an ask really and then instead of being a 3.5 times chain lock based on your HP, it would be a 3.25 chain boundary. Now, I did say here that it scales up to 30.0. I think that might have to change considering I also added the effect, the effect of changing your chain multiplier growth rate up to 0.4, which is the exact same effect such as Super Tandem Kid, Super Tandem Law, Strength Legend Ulti. Um, we also know that the level limit break of Legend Garp also received this type of effect as well. But this isn't as strong as um, like Super Tandem Kid and Super Tandem Law because those ones go up to 0.6 this one is only going up to 0.4 so when you hit a perfect normally you're getting 0.3 this means that instead of getting a 0.3 you're just getting a 0.4 upgrade and i've just upgraded all of the other ones so normally with goods it's 0.1 um or is it 0.1 or is it just flat out zero i can't remember exactly but with a great that's been buffed to basically hit a perfect and then goods have been buffed as well this just basically ensures that when you're actually tapping with your characters not only do you have that 3.25 chain boundary but also getting normal attacks with the chain multiply growth rate increase i think it'd be a really nice addition and fits really well with the chain boundary special but capping out at 30.0 might open the door for some abuse from players i think that you could really abuse this strongly with other chain related buffs so you could potentially cap this out at maybe like 10 i think that would also be really fair all things considered and then combines to the dual unit Hera, Prometheus, and Big Mom for three turns. And I do feel like the super evolution in this unit is going to go down the Wano path, where Zeus will be dropped off in replace for Hera, which is what we've seen in the anime in recent episodes. And I think that would make a lot of sense. This is a really powerful special and would fit really well with her captain effect that is focused around just doing as much damage as possible. And this special has a lot of unique mechanics that, you know, just fit really well with doing as much damage as possible because we already know a lot of characters have access to attack orb color affinity etc but there's not too many specials in the game that give you base attack boost and a chain boundary and also chain multiply growth rate increase all bundled up into one special i think is pretty incredible no utility obviously which could be a downside but this is a character that has always been based around doing as much damage as possible with some healing mechanics added on top of that and i think this is a really good way to do that you could potentially add a healing mechanic imposed in the special too but i think that this is a really powerful special that would help the character now the final mechanic that we need to talk about that is the most important when we're talking about dual units is their switch effect so this character's switch 
which removes paralysis completely on themselves and then changes their own orb into a matching slot which does not go through block slots and then it boosts the attack of themselves by 1.5 for one turn and boosts their own orbs by 1.5 for one turn this character was used a lot back in the day where you would need to take on these mini bosses you could just chuck this character on the crew which had a special that could give you a really nice buff and then this switch effect that would help you take out like psi mini bosses really easily because every single turn you could continuously switch with this unit giving themselves a slot giving themselves a 1.5 attack and orb boost which if you multiply that together is basically boosting their own own attack basically when you combine everything together by a 2.25 multiplier 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 equaling 2.25 this character getting that much of a buff with a matching slot every single turn was very strong so this part of this part of uh, the kit overall needs a pretty drastic change not only to make the character more usable but also to help you out in clearing content and the way that i've done that here is we've obviously added a super sword switch which we know that uh, all the dual units that have had super evolutions have had this now what i've done here with this character's swap is instead of removing the paralysis on themselves which basically never helps in a lot of circumstances it's just going to reduce the crew's paralysis duration by one turn removing paralysis by one for the whole team is way better than removing paralysis on one unit completely because most of the time when you're inflicted with paralysis it's not only on one unit typically it's for the whole team so being able to consistently remove it would be wicked giving themselves a matching slot through block slots is obviously a huge upgrade as well to just generate matching slots whenever you need them and then also 1.5 attack and all boost for themselves so no major changes here but paralysis removal for the whole crew and guaranteed matching slot through block and then the super swap being able to remove four turns of paralysis matching slot through block and a two times attack and all boost for one turn now this is what i was talking about a little bit earlier with this character with their with their swap effect being able to generate a a boost for themselves an attack and an orb boost for themselves which if you take a look at the at the captain being able to buff the attack and orb boost of the crew by 0.3 getting up to a 2.3 attack and a 2.3 orb boost with a matching slot then this character can also give a base attack boost a chain boundary and a chain multiply growth rate so this character by herself is able to do absurd amounts of damage i would love if even if this mechanic where you tap on with an int slot to get a further boost to your attack and orb boost would be like a crewmate ability for the character that would go over the top honestly but i would love to see that kind of uh, mechanic for this character now this is just my opinions as to what they could potentially do with zeus prometheus and big mom or i think it's going to be hera prometheus and big mom but a lot of people's predictions for super revolutions never really come true i mean we may get some certain aspects of the character correct but no one typically is 100% correct. They usually go very left field with these upgrades, so we don't really know what to expect. But what we do know is this character is indeed going to be super evolving, which I am very much excited for. Definitely looking forward to seeing what this character has in store. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about a potential super evolution for Zeus, Prometheus, and Big Mom down below in the comment section i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below i'm that guys i will see you guys within the next video